Good morning, Mavericks. I hope you are doing well by staying safe in your own homes. And as I said, staying at home will definitely make you more creative if you think that way. Anyways, in my last video, I discussed, or rather we started discussing about tenses. And I described it as a two-way two -way procedure. It is a two-step procedure, the first step of which was mentioned in the last video, which I gave you. And what it talked about was, simply, it talked about the different structures of the 12 different sentences, uh, tenses that we have in the chapter. And I wanted you to practice it as much as possible so that you get an expertise over the first step. By looking at the sentence, you can name the tense. By naming a tense, you can frame a sentence. If you are good at this, then we can move to the next one. So we'll start the second step today. And so I would come up with a comparative study of present, past and future simple tenses. But if I start doing simple, if I start teaching you simple present tense, I think there is one thing that is very important for you to acknowledge. What is that? Subject verb agreement. You must have studied it in your previous classes. And what is that? Well, you know what? I learned it in a different way. So I said there was a subject, there was a verb, and finally one day they had an agreement. Subject said, if I will be singular, you have to be singular. And if you come in plural, we will have a fight. It means the sentence would be wrong. Verb can also, uh, cannot even lag behind and uh, he would uh, he, he came up with another deal and he said, okay, fine enough. But wherever I am plural, you also need to be plural. If you come in singular version, we'll have a fight. Again, that means sentence is wrong. So they stuck to this agreement. And so we have this chapter, subject verb agreement. So I have prepared a small detail of uh, subject verb agreement for you to identify. So as I described, let's see. Singular subject always takes singular verb and a plural subject always takes plural verb. So if you take an example of singular, singular and plural, plural. I say you are listening he is playing. So what is this is? What is this are? It's the agreement. You falls into a plural category. He falls into a singular category. And so they come together accordingly. We take examples. First example. For singular subject and singular verb. The boy likes apples. The boy is singular. Likes is singular. And for plural, the boy is plural subject. So, like. No likes. Don't write. The boy is likes. That would be a blunder. Okay. When I was a child, I had this problem. And I believe many of you have it. Maybe you won't tell me so. Anyhow, the problem is how to remember which verb form is singular. So I devised it. I compared it with nouns. Nouns, let's say cat, singular. To make it plural, we add an S. We make it cats. But in verbs, it's just the opposite. So please remember. I have tried mentioning it here. With singular subjects, V5 comes in. V5 is the singular form of verb. And with plural verb, plural subjects, plural verb comes. V1 is the plural version. 
So you have to devise your own mnemonics in order to remember this. That's your brain. So this is subject verb agreement. It's not that's it. It has many rules, 15, 20 rules that you need to uh, capture in order to be an expert in subject verb agreement. And mind it, if you are an expert in subject verb agreement, 50% of the errors that people make would be omitted. So work on uh, this particular thing. Get some grammar books. Get into them. Ask in case you get stuck somewhere. That's your part. All right, that was subject verb agreement. A little brief about it. I know, uh, I hope you would do more. But before we get into tenses, I would like you to go through this particular segment of the board. I hope it is quite clear to you. If it is not, I will put it like this. See, we'll do it like this. So what I have done is I have categorized singulars and plurals. You see, all the singular pronouns along with all singular nouns fall in this category. And all the plural pronouns with the plural nouns fall in this category. Now, you see, I have listed certain things here, which is something very, very important for you to learn. And what is that? With singulars, we use does. With plurals, we use do. Singulars take is, plurals take are. I is a specific one. It takes am and was. Here it would take were, but I will take was. So we have singulars take has and plurals take have. Singulars go with the fifth form of the verb and plurals take the first form of the verb. So it's altogether uh, making it easier for a person to start learning subject verb agreement. Please learn this by heart. That'll be going to be of a lot of usage for us in later videos. So after moving, after getting into this, I will get into the tense version. Here we go. I've tried to comprise, I've tried to comparatively write the present, past and future of simple version. My next video will definitely uh, give you more information about the perfect present, past and future perfect and then present, past and future continuous. So segment wise, I will deliver the videos to you. Also, I would not forget to prepare a video of subject verb agreement. That would really help you as well, I know. All right. So now let us move towards the tenses. We start with the simple present form, which is also called the present indefinite form of tense. And that is to be kept very, very, very simple. That's what the name is, simple. You should not be using any be form. You should not be using any have form or do form. Simply, you have to capture the verb first form or the fifth form according to the subject and the verb. So I've tried to mention the usage of all the three tenses along with the structures and examples. Further more exercises you have to do on your own. So let's start without any, be, uh, any delay. Simple present tense. Now simple present tense talks about those actions which are repeated. Repeated. Uh, repeated, you shouldn't be confused about. Repeated, it may repeat once in a decade or maybe 1000 times in a minute. Anything. The moment you find repetition in an action, blindfoldedly you can use simple present tense there. But you need to analyze the action first. You need to know that first. So, repeated actions take simple present tense. So let's see the structure that takes the subject along with the first form if the subject is plural and the fifth form if the subject is, yes, you're right, singular along with the object. So that makes it simple present tense. Following the examples, I sing songs or he sings songs. I is plural. So V1, plural. He is singular, so V5, sings. So that's what it is. And the moment we change it into negative, see again, 
I do not sing songs. You remember this? I will take do. But he will take does. So see, I sing songs. I do not sing songs. Though I am a good singer. And he sings songs. He does not sing. So see again here, sing. No sings. In the sentence it had sings. But the moment I change it into negative, it takes the first form of the verb. So that's a point to be remembered. We do, does and did. I repeat, do, does and did will take no other verb form but we won. So remember. So repeated actions take according to the subject verb agreement anyhow. We move to the next the next usages. There are many. I cannot sum up all but I have tried taking the most important ones that's going to be a part of your syllabus and that might help you definitely hopefully. So apart from being repeated the action repeated actions we have present habits we share our present habits like infants cry right toddlers don't want to go to school don't see present tense i say i brush my teeth twice a day please do it not once twice you have to before sleeping also do it i bath i will uh, my son also baths so see simple present tense for those actions which are habits or maybe for science facts also water boils as i say or water cools when freezed or water boils when heated so singular subject singular verb universal truth the earth rotates well i hope you know it rotates on its imaginary axis all right so whenever we talk about universal truths or science facts or repeated actions or our habits we use simple present tense and the structure is to be remembered now we move to the next segment that is the past form of the verb past form uh it simply talks about those actions which are over which are finished no relevance at the time of speaking you are just mentioning about something which is over in the past i gave you a video few days ago remember you practiced it you practiced it you did not practice see past tense takes did no do or does so if you did not practice you will not understand this segment at all simple past tense talks about those actions which are over i sang a song yesterday well i said i sing every day i'll not sing it for you don't press me so past tense i sang a song see i v2 object nothing else no be form no has have no do does simple past that's how the name is so subject verb second form and object example and the moment i change it into negative i did not sing this is the version you need to remember you cannot write anything else why why so why so uh, i don't have space here but uh, let's remember this did always takes v1 and here also do v1 or does v1 always the moment you take another verb you are wrong so remember that simple past let's move to the next future future is good don't worry coronavirus is there but we are safe our future is bright okay so future is something it's 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 used for those actions which will happen in the future school will open after few months few weeks a few days 
Okay, few weeks. Fine, I take your answer. Some people say few months, and many might be thinking many years. Some years. Okay. Anyways, so this is what it is. The example would be: I will sing a song. Bad me, not now. And the structure is subject will. It may have one more. Will and shall both are used. She a subject will v one object. So I will sing a song tomorrow. And the negative will be simply I will not sing a song. You can shorten this will not by using won't. That's how will not is written in negative form. So I will not sing a song. I won't sing a song tomorrow. Simple future tense, right? So it's not always simple future tense comes with will all. It may take another form. We will definitely go through everything in my next videos. I'll try to give as much information I can put through you with the help of this. Again, the last structure here. We have done it in a bigger version, but I want you to see it as many times because seeing makes you learn it. And this is something without which we cannot meet. Well, obviously, we cannot go together. So. This is what all about present, past, and future simple tenses, and they are simple. Don't take tension. Go through them, practice more exercises, and you are going to be a master on this with practice. Well, practice makes everyone perfect. So it's now now it's time for me to sing a song. All right, do like, share, and subscribe to the, my videos if you like it. I will come back to you soon. Thank you.